Let's iterate through our dictionary variable named dict. For key in dict, print key. The for loop returned dictionary keys. Let's print out our dictionary values. For key in dict, print dict key. The for loop returned dictionary values. Let us now count the number of characters in a string. Let's say our string is inquisition. And let's call our dictionary d2. And let's make an empty dictionary. So first we have to iterate through our string and then add the characters and the values to the dictionary. For character in string, do what? D2 character equals, let's Let's use the get method, get character, default of a value set to zero, and increase the value by one. What we can do here now is also print the dictionary d2 in the for loop to see how the dictionary increases. That is to see what really happens in the for loop. So print d2. And let's see what happens. We can see how the dictionary increases with each iteration. Either a new key value pair is added, which is the case for the first four iterations, or the program encounters a repeating letter and increases its value by one. The example is seen in iteration 5, where letter i is now seen for the second time. We can also sort our dictionary with the function sorted. So print sorted d to items comma key equal sign lambda epsilon like we already said we didn't go into explaining how this function works you just have to remember the expression Let's see our dictionary sorted. We can see that letter I is the most frequent letter as it appears four times and the letter N appears two times. All the other letters appear only once. Let's now count the characters found in a file. We can create a variable t where we can put all the text from our spam.txt file. So let's write t equal sign open spam.txt method read. Don't forget about the method decode. utf8. And finally, the method lower.
because we don't want separate frequency distributions for capital letter A and for lowercase letter A. Next, we can create our dictionary, our empty dictionary, D3, for example. Assigning in curly brackets. Now we have to iterate through the file character by character and add the key value pairs to our dictionary. So let's write for character in D. Let's add to our dictionary D3 using the get method where the key is our character and the default value is zero if the character is not found in the dictionary and increase the value by one. Let's print out the sorted dictionary. Print sorted D3 items comma key equals the lambda x squared minus x square bracket one square bracket closed and let's see in our file letter e is the most frequent one it appears nine times then letter a that appears seven times we can see that in the third place is space which appears six times then letter I, which appears six times, letter L, which appears six times, and letter R, which appears six times, and so on. Only the letter D appears once. 